After a little confusion over whether it would open today, Rocky Flats National Wildlife Refuge is now allowing visitors. But protesters also showed up saying the land is still too contaminated. Denver Den 7's Connor, Connor West takes us to the former nuclear site where hikers received a sobering warning. The gate is open here on the north side of the Rocky Flats National Wildlife Refuge. We talked to a bunch of people out here today and they're all here for very different reasons. Like everybody says, this is the last of undisturbed prairie for the Denver metro area. Bill Tyree spent 43 years working at Rocky Flats. My last bit of time was spent with the labs uh, doing plutonium assay. He came out to see what the property has become and shared with us what he wants to see for its future. They should do the surveys, they should do the soil testing, they should do all the things that confirm that it, it really is safe. The former weapons production facility produced plutonium triggers for U.S. nuclear weapons. And that's why protesters like Judith Moling are against people being let on the land. They're really putting themselves in danger. Judith joined together with this group in a parking lot that just opened today to recreationists. They held signs warning hikers, runners, and bikers like Richard Marchbanks, who all came to check out the newly opened trails. We were excited about some new trail in the Boulder area. Many signs also made their way to downtown Denver, where protesters continued to spread their message. Even then, a full parking lot of visitors at Rocky Flats showed the warnings didn't seem to scare too many people away on opening weekend. There's radioactive material in all the soil everywhere, so I don't think this is going to be any worse of a problem than anywhere else. The Environmental Protection Agency and Colorado Health Department have both said the park is safe for use after testing. But some believe that will never be the case and want to see more testing done. It's so easy to convince them that it, if it's so beautiful, it must be safe, but it isn't. At Rocky Flats, I'm Connor Wist, Denver 7. We'll keep following that. And new tonight, those controversial bike lanes along Broadway in Denver are here to stay. Two years ago, the city installed a half-mile two-way bike lanes from Virginia to Bayad. The city says the reaction was mostly positive, so now the lanes will be permanent. And they will now expand the bike lanes from 7th Avenue south across Cherry Creek and reach all the way to Center Avenue. The city will use about $1.1 million in bond money to build that, and the project should take about a year to complete. <laughs>